Hi, it's Marcus Dennis with Nitromag from Growth Technologies. Uh, we're going to talk about what constitutes the basic components of Nitromag today. And to begin with, there's a lot of buzz going around about uh, amine nitrogen, uh, melted urea, liquid urea, uh, organic nitrogen, it, it's, it's all going around, uh, and I want to clarify some of that to you today. It all starts with this, urea. Urea is an NH2 form of nitrogen. You're familiar with NO3 and NH4. NO3 being nitrate, NH4 being ammonium. All of that is available to the, to the easily uptaken by the plant. Urea, you recognize as a white prill. It's usually been put on dry, worked in. Uh, you can put some stabilizer things on it to keep it from uh, volatilizing up into the atmosphere. And we're taking that and we're turning it into that. Now this is nitro mag that has the magnesium, the chloride, and the boron already in it along with the liquid urea that we use heat to melt. So this is a combination of products put together that actually if you take A, uh, uh, a and you mix it with B, this turns into C, a whole new product. This isn't just A and B makes AB, it makes C. So why is, is NH2 important? Every, all nitrogen in the plant is used to make amino acids. Amino acids then make proteins, and that is key to plant health and growth. 95 or more percent of all plant functions start with an amino acid that turns into proteins. The list is long. So you can only make an amino acid with an NH2. NH2 is when you have organic matter in the soil break out, it turns into NH2, which is then called organic nitrogen. A guy back in the 1800s figured out how to take that form of nitrogen and man make it, synthesize it. And that's where you get this. This is man-made, but it is this organic form. The organic form the plant doesn't know the difference if it's coming out of your organic matter or if it's coming uh, from the urea. It's very important to know that you cannot make an amino acid with a nitrate or this. You have to use an NH2. That NH2 has to be kept in that form in the plant. And to do that, uh, We've developed special uh, stabilizers that keep that from happening and turning into NH4 or NO3, which the plant then has to convert that back. But NH2 goes right to work. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg that we're doing today. Uh, you're going to have to uh, uh, under, fully understand how this works. And to do that, you can go to our website growthtechllc.com and I have white papers on this uh, and I also have uh, uh, videos there also.